construction management or structure engineering there are many jobs in the bay area because they are having like i mean they're constructing many things and then they are having infrastructure um jobs available because they're developing this new i mean they're connect- making this new la metro and they've just started that so there are many jobs if you are in the civil engineering field mm-hmm. as for the career fairs we have one in january and uh yeah i think we just have one career fair at stanford mm-hmm. because um we have other opportunities so uh some clubs like uh the real estate club um has like a resume book Mm-hmm. where you give your resumes and we compile all of them mm-hmm. so i was the president of the real estate club so we take everyone's resume and they can be like any graduate student it, it isn't like specific to civil engineering okay. so we take everyone's resume and then we send it out to all the potential employers because we have like a record of all the real estate companies or construction companies that are looking to hire graduate students so we just send everyone's resume you can also go to the career center and um, talk to them about what you want to do and then they have like they segregate which companies you could apply for yeah. so even that is helpful Yeah so I would say that booking is like the most important thing you can do here and everything works through references so um for us we had a course in autumn which had like it was more like a seminar series but we had like 12 employers come over 12 weeks yeah. and um they came every week so you could I mean it was like you give you can give resume your resume to like 12 employers and talk to them and uh they also have like an after seminar networking session where you spend an hour with them i mean all students spend an hour with them talk to them and you can apply and they're super responsive they do not like just forget you they do keep you in mind but the key to that is that you should immediately email them the next day like you shouldn't wait for one week cuz obviously they'll forget by then yeah. as they yeah. all have busy lives but um yeah. yeah so you should instantly email them and then if they don't reply follow up but most of them usually do and they're pretty responsive and then you know you can just talk to the, talk to them and ask if if they want to you know if they they would talk to you for the and if they can they are hiring people if you can actually do a, like an interview with them i think it ranges from 75 to 90000 it depends like um it depends on company thing the higher someone got was like 90000 but it's only if you're doing like for construction okay. like it it varies from structures to construction managers to other roles but you start like as a project engineer so everyone has like a basic salary but if you yeah. have experience then they might negotiate and you might have chances of you know exceeding the 90000 um like they might pay you a bit more because you have like five or six year experience but other than that it's it's standard Yeah so when you arrive uh they just yeah there's so many companies coming so the most important thing would be to have your resume ready because uh they do the recruiting starts like in October November it's it's but if you're graduating like in December it's super early and um but for internships the process goes throughout the year so because our career fair is in January So um from January to May is like you can apply whenever you want to it just depends on how quickly you want an internship I think that even if you are applying early like um yeah take courses which you know might be helpful um in your internship so then when they ask you in your interview like what have you done at the university you can go i've done so and so and that's why i think i am um you know i am fit for this opportunity but you can do like i mean on campus jobs really don't matter much uh, if you're applying because they know everyone does that but mm-hmm. you can yeah you can audit courses take lectures yeah but talk about your undergrad like what you've done in undergrad and mm-hmm. yeah i mean that's basically it